Hi, I'm Tyler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this website at lightning speed, step-by-step -step with no steps skipped. The percent icon in the bottom left will track your progress. Click on it whenever you want a more detailed explanation. Ready? Let's go. Go to HostGator.com, click Web Hosting, scroll down and choose the Hatchling plan, which is the cheapest plan because you can always upgrade later. Click Sign Up Now. Then enter in the domain you want and scroll down and choose the amount of months you want to have. If you pay more at once, you get a bigger discount. If you pay month to month, it is the least expensive up front. I'm just going to choose month to month. Scroll down, enter in your username, security pin, and billing information. Scroll down some more and uncheck all of the additional add-ons. You can always get them later. Type in 35, which is the largest discount and saves you at least 35%. HostGator gives me credit for it and you save the most you can. Click validate to activate your coupon, watch the cost decrease, click I have read and agree to the terms of service, and check out now. You'll see a welcome page and that's when you know it's time to check your email. Click on the email from HostGator, click on your control panel link, copy and paste your username and password, and log in. Once you log in, scroll down to software slash services and click quick install. Once you do that, click WordPress on the left. Then click Install WordPress, fill out all of your information, and click Install WordPress again. Once the installation is complete, your website won't work right away. That's because it's going to take a little time for your website to register all across the world. After you wait three hours, you can go to your website and you can see that it works. To log in, go to yourwebsite.com forward slash wp admin and copy in your username and password from quick install and press login. To change your password, click on users, click your username, scroll down, click generate password, type in your own password and click update profile. To make sure you have the latest updates, click on dashboard, then updates and update anything that you need to. Next, we're going to delete all the plugins to make sure that we're starting fresh. So click on plugins, check off all the plugins, go to the drop down box and press deactivate, then apply. Then check off all the plugins again and go to the drop down box again and press delete and apply. Then press yes, delete all of these files. Next, we're gonna install a new theme, which is the design of your website. To do that, go to appearance, then click themes. Then click add new, and you can add any of the themes that you see here, but we're gonna add our own. So let's open up a tab and go to tesseractheme.com and click download theme. Then go back to your website and press upload theme, then choose file, then choose the tesseract.zip file, press open, then install now and activate. Once we do that, we can visit our site and we can see that the design has changed. We can also see the sample page that needs to be deleted, so to do that, hover over your website name, then click dashboard. Then click pages, hover over your sample page, and click trash. Now let's add some pages to our website. To do that, click on pages, then click add new. Then type in home to create our home page, then click publish and add new. Type about, click publish, click add new. Type services, click publish, click add new. Type contact, click publish, click add new. Then type terms of use, open up a new tab, search Google terms of use generator, click on one of the links and copy the terms. Go back to the website, click on text and paste it in. Then click visual and click on this button for more options, then edit and format the text just like you would in Microsoft Word. Then under template, choose full width template so that your page goes all the way across and update, then you can view your page. Next, we're gonna rearrange the menu so it's in the order that we want. To do that, click customize, click menus, click add menu, name it whatever you want and click create menu. Then check header and press add items, then click pages and add all of the pages in the order that you want. Click save and publish and now let's add our bottom footer menu. Click add a menu, type in footer and press create menu. Then check footer and press add items. Add all of the pages that you want and press save and publish. To change your title and tagline for the search engines, exit out of there, click customize, click header options, click site identity, type in your title and tagline, then click save and publish. To make a logo, X out of there, open up a new tab, type logomaker.com, that's L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R dot C-O-M, and search for your graphic. If you don't find your graphic, you can Google free icon, find iconfinder.com, find your graphic, download the SVG to your desktop, drag in the logo, move, resize, and change the color, crop it to give it some more space, click save and save it to your desktop. 
Then you can go back to your website and click Customize, then click Header Options, click Header Logo, press Select Image, click Select Files, find your logo, click Open, and choose your image. Then change the size of your logo and click Save and Publish. Then you can X out of there, and to change your header colors, click on Customize, click Header Options, click Header Colors, change all the colors, and click Save and Publish. Exit out of there and do the same thing to the footer by clicking on Customize, Footer Options, Footer Colors, changing all of the colors, and clicking Save and Publish. Then you can exit out of there, and to change the background color, you want to click Customize, click General, then Background Color, select any color that you want, and click Save and Publish. Then we're going to exit out of there and go to your dashboard and understand what plugins are. Plugins are basically just add-ons to your website that you can download for free. Next, we're going to install the Beaver Builder plugin, which allows you to make your website visually. To do that, click Plugins, click Add New, search Beaver Builder, click More Details, and Install Now. Then activate plugin and visit your website. Now let's build your home page. To do that, click Customize, then General, then Static Front Page. Click a static page, then under Front Page, choose Home, and click Save and Publish. Next, let's get rid of the sidebar. To do that, click Edit Page, and under Template, click Full Width Page, then click Update, and View Page. Next, let's add an image to the top of your home page. So click Page Builder, then click Row Layouts, drag and drop one column to the top of your page, click the wrench icon, under Width, select Full Width. Under Background Type, choose Photo. Then click Select Photo. Click Upload Files. Click Select Files. Select an image, then click Open. Click Select Photo. And under Height, select Full Width. Set the position to the position that works best for your image, and click Save. Next, let's add a headline over our image. Click Add Content, then Basic Modules, and drag in a heading inside the row. Put in your heading text, change the font size, font weight, and color. Click Advanced to change the spacing around the text, and save. To add some text under the headline, click Add Content, and under Basic Modules, drag in a text editor right under the headline. Paste in your text, change the font size to 18, click Advanced to change the spacing, and click Save. Now let's make another section by dragging in one column under the first column. Then click the wrench icon, and under the width, choose Full Width. And under Background Type, choose Color. And under Background Color, choose any color you want. Then click Advanced to change the spacing, and click Save. Next, let's add content and drag in a heading. Put in your heading text, font weight, color, and press Save. Then click Add Content and drag in two more columns to the bottom. Click the wrench icon and make it Full Width. And under Background, type Choose Photo and Select Photo, Upload Files and Select Files. Choose your file and press Open, then Select Photo. Click Advanced and give it some more space, change the spacing, and press Save. To add text, click Add Content and drag in a text editor to the right column. Paste in your text, put in a heading, press the Link button and link it to a page, and press Add Link. Then click Save. Then click Add Content and drag in two columns to the bottom. Click the wrench icon and make it Full Width. Under Background Type, choose Photo, then Select Photo, Upload Files, Select Files, choose your photo, click Open, and Select Photo. Click Advanced and change the spacing, then click Save. Next, let's add some text to the left side by clicking Add Content, drag in a text editor to the left column, make a heading, some text below that, followed by a link, and click Save. You can change the width of the column by clicking and dragging like this. Now let's add some more content by dragging in one column to the bottom, then clicking the wrench icon and making it full width, and under Background Type, choose Color, then choose the color that you want. Under Colors, make your text color and link color white and click Save. Then add content and drag in a heading, put in your text, font size, font weight, color, alignment, and add a subheading. Add your subheading text, change the color, and click Save. Then click Add Content, drag in a text editor, type out some text. Add in a special character, change the font size, align it to the center, make it a button, press Add Link and Save, press Done, and Publish Changes. You are done with your home page. Next, let's create your About page. So click on your About link and let's get rid of the sidebar. 
by clicking on Edit Page, then under Templates, choose Full Width Page, click Update, and View Page. Then click Page Builder and drag in one column. Click the wrench icon and set both widths to full width. Click Advance and set zero to all of the padding. Then click Style, set background type to photo. Click Select Photo, Upload Files, Select Files, choose your photo, press Open and select Photo. Then click Save. Click Add Content and drag in a heading, put in your heading text, font size, color, and alignment. Then add a subheadline, subtext, change the font size and color. Then click Advanced and add spacing to the left and right and click Save. Now let's add a color overlay on top of the image. Click the blue Edit Column button, click Column Settings, set Background Type to Color, and select a color. Lower the opacity till it looks good, then go to the Advanced tab and set the top margin to 300 pixels. Then add some spacing to the top and bottom. Click Save and drag in four columns to the bottom of the page. Drag in a photo into the first column. Click Select Photo, Select Files, choose an image, click Open, and click Select Photo. Click Circle from the Crop menu and click Save. Next, click Add Content and drag in a text editor into the second column. Then type the name and title of someone. Change the font of the person's name and click Save. Click Row Settings for the row around the four columns, and from the Advanced tab, set the top margin to 100 and left and right to 150. Next, click and drag to resize the center columns to 28 and 22%. Then click and drag in between the first two columns to 18 and 35%. Click and drag the left side of the third column till it says 39 and 18 percent. Duplicate the first column, drag the copy to the third column, and do the same thing with the text, dragging it to the last column. And resize the last two columns to 18 and 30 percent. Duplicate the row containing the columns, click row settings, and set the top margin to 0 and bottom to 100. Replace the duplicates with the names and pictures of other people. Next, drag a text editor into the row at the bottom of the page, input a testimonial or quote, increase the font size to 22 pixels, center it, and from the Advanced tab, set the left and right margins to 190. After that, drop three columns underneath the quote in the same row. Add a photo module to the center column, select the picture of the quoted person, set crop to circle, and click Save. Click the right edge of column 1 and set the width to 45%, click Save. Drag the left side of column 3 till it's at 45%. Click Photo Settings, click Advanced, and set the top and bottom margin to 10. Click Save. Drag in one more column directly below within the same row. Add text. Insert the name of the quoted person in Heading 3. Insert their job title and center the text. Click Advanced. Set the top margin to 0. Click Save. Finally, drag one column below everything in a new row. Click Row Settings, select Full Width, set Background Type to Color, select Color, change Text and Link Color to White, and click Save. Next, drag in a text editor, write a call to action sentence, center the text, increase font size to 28 pixels, add a few lines below and write your call to action link. Go to special characters and add an arrow and create a link. Click save, click done, and publish changes to finish the about page. Now let's start building the services page. Click services, click edit page, select full width page, click update and view the page. Then open the page builder and click add content. Click Basic Modules, click and drag a heading onto your page, and add your heading text. Set Alignment to Center, and click Save. Then click Row Settings, click the Advanced tab, change the top padding to 50, and click Save. Now click Add Content, and drag three columns to the bottom of your page. From there, go to logomaker.com, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com, and download a few icons that visually describe the services you offer. Drag a photo module into the first column, click Select Image, then Upload Files, select your icon, click Open, and select Photo, then Save. Drag a text editor below your icon, describe your first service, and add more services by duplicating the icon and text. Drag them into their own column and change the icon and the text. In the same row as your services, drag in a text editor to the bottom, type a call to action, add an arrow from the special characters, center it, increase the font size, make it a link, click add link and click save. From there, drag in a heading to the bottom of the page and in its own row. Add your heading text, set the font size to 28, change the text color to white and click save. Click row settings, select full width, change background type to color, choose a color, click advanced and set the top and bottom padding to 10 and click save. Click heading settings, change the font weight to light and click save. Add one more heading to the bottom of the page, add your text, set alignment to center, click advanced, 
change the top margin to 35 and click save. Click add content, click basic modules, click and drag in a video to a new column under the heading, set video type to embed, and paste in the URL to your YouTube video and click save. Click video settings, click advanced, change the top margin to 30, bottom to 50, and left and right to 200. Click save. Click add content, drag one column underneath the video row, click row settings, select full width, set background type to color, choose a color, change text and link colors to white, click advanced and set top and bottom margins to 60, and click save. Drag in a text editor and some text. Increase the font size, align it to the center, and set left and right margin to 150. Now underline and make your links. Click done and publish changes to finish your services page. Then click your contact page, click edit page and choose full width page. Click update and view page. Click page builder, drag in one column, click the wrench icon, set the width to full width, the background to photo, then click select photo, upload files, select files, choose your file and press open and select photo. Under border type, choose solid, choose your color, set everything to zero except for the bottom, set that to six, then click save. Click add content, drag in a heading, change your text, font size, font weight, and color. Click advanced, change the top margin to 150, bottom to zero, and click save. Click add content, drag in another heading, change the heading text, font size, font weight, and color, then click advance and change the top and bottom to zero and click save. Then click add content and drag in a text editor below the heading, type in your contact information, click advanced and change the top margin to zero and the left margin to 30 and click save. Hover over the top left of your website and click dashboard, then plugins and click add new and search for contact form seven. Click install now and activate plugin. Then click contact on the left side and click contact form. Click mail and make sure your email is in the to field. Click contact again and copy the short code. Hover over your website name and click visit site. Go to your contact page and click page builder. Click row layouts and drag in one column to the bottom. Click the wrench icon and set it to full width. Set the background to color and choose a color then click save. Click add content, drag in a text editor, click text and paste in your contact form, then click save. Since it's too wide, click the wrench icon, click advance and set the left and right margin to 200 and click save. Press done and publish changes. We are all done with the contact page. Next, we're going to make your website super mobile friendly because sometimes you want to show people different content if they're on their phones or if they're on their PCs. To do that, visit the homepage and click page builder. Hover over the content that you want to show up differently and click the duplicate button. Then click the wrench icon and click advanced and under display choose large and medium devices only then click save. Now hover over the top row and click the wrench icon then advanced and under display choose small devices only then edit the top however you want. Do that for every section that you want to show up differently on smaller devices then click done and publish changes. Now we can see our mobile version looks different and better optimized on our phone. To change the mobile menu colors, click customize, click header options, click mobile menu and check the menu box so you can see it. Change all the colors and click save changes and X out of there. To add social media icons, click customize, then click social. Then click on account and enter in your social media account and add your link. Open up a new tab and go to logomaker.com. Choose your icon, choose the color, and save it. Now do that for the rest of your icons and close Logomaker. Click select image, upload files, select files, find your icon, click open, and choose image. Click the back button and do the same thing for the rest of your social media accounts, then click save and publish. Now go back, click footer options, footer content, and choose social icons, click save and publish, and X out of there. Next, we're going to create a fave icon, which is the icon right here. Click Customize, then Header Options and Site Identity. Open Logomaker.com and choose or drag in your logo. Color it, resize it, and enter in 512 by 512 and save it. Then select Image, Upload Files, Select Files, Find Your File, click Open, then Select. Then press Save and Publish. In summary, you have learned how to make an amazing website really fast. Congratulations. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm Tyler. Thank you so much.